All right, so today, folks, we're crossing off one of the biggest items off my bucket list down here in the Florida Keys. So I've only got two days left here in the Florida Keys, and I want to make the most, but thankfully the weather is pretty nice. Um, we had a really aggressive cold front roll through a couple days ago. We we'll dropped the water temperature here to probably low 60s. I mean, it is not not warm at all. I mean, we had low temperatures multiple days in a row of low 50s, almost in 40 degree temperature, which is really rare here in the Florida Keys. So that being said, fishing from the bridges and my traditional kayak fishing spots on the flats have not been too good with this colder water. So I decided today to come out, take advantage of the, of the beautiful, beautiful calm winds and uh, hopefully make the most of it here. So we got about a mile paddle to go to reach a deeper channel. So stay tuned folks. Let's get them. Whew. This is gonna be a sick day. Already my day is made. This is a really cool sight. I've never been below the seven mile bridge here before. And uh, this is just something really cool to see. One of the longest bridges in the world. And I'm right underneath of it in my kayak. And there's the end of the fishing portion of the bridge on the southwest side. That's about a mile long back there. I fished there last year, made a video, but there really wasn't too much going on. I know some guys say they catch fish off there, but personally, now that I have the kayak, I'd rather get out a little bit deeper. We got seven miles of bridge to fish here, so to stop and fish the first mile will be a mistake. We're gonna try to get out maybe another mile, mile and a half or so, almost to the midway portion. Just looking for that deeper water, maybe some more structure or pieces of this bridge have fallen off. And there's Fred the tree growing all the way out here. All right, this looks about as good as we're gonna find here to fish. Let's get that anchor set up. All right, that should hold us here. Get that chum bag out then. All right, we only brought one chum block out here because I don't know how long we're gonna have to fish today. It's already about noon. And I'm hoping we can get on a quick bite without having to camp out eight hours on the bridge. So there we go. Chum blocks in the water. So let it do its magic. Hopefully it doesn't attract too many sharks. All right, so yesterday we were able to get out and get a whole bunch of these guys for bait right here. We got a whole shebang of pilchards. I only had a 10 foot cast net with me, so when I threw it, I caught pretty much the whole school and a whole bunch of mangrove crap as well. But we're gonna be using these guys today as bait. Since it's my first time fishing the seven mile bridge, we're gonna take it pretty slow here. We're just gonna start off playing and easy, throwing some pilchards out underneath this bridge. The reason I picked this spot, you can see there's a a section that either cut out or fell and I'm hoping it fell where we got some structure there It's also around 11 feet deep right here, which is almost as deep as this bridge gets Without going all the way to Moser Channel. So just doing some grocery shopping today making it pretty easy getting our pilchards Chopping them up into decent sized chunks Brought a couple different rods out here today, but mostly just gonna be sticking with this guy here our 4,000 size Shimano bait runner on a 7.6 tsunami carbon shield keeping it medium heavy here Hoping for some snappers, maybe some jacks. All right, so a little piece of pilchard, we'll pitch it out there in the chum slick. I don't know how long this chum bag is gonna last, maybe an hour or two. Just hoping to catch a couple fish here. My first time ever fishing one of these Florida Keys bridges off the kayak. I fished a whole bunch of times before, actually off the bridges themselves, but the seven mile here is in such disrepair, you're not allowed to walk all the way out on it, so. This spot's only accessible by kayak or boat. I'm already getting bit off rip. Oh, bait's gone already. That didn't take long. Ooh, oh man, that was a good bite there. Sheesh. There he is, there's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Better something there. Oh, one of these guys, huh? Well, not the right size, but the right species there. 
Little mutton snapper. See you, bud. All right. At least we're on the board now. Should be some bigger ones back there, hopefully. There he is. What do we got here? Oh, another species for the day. Well, out of season, way, way too small. Little black grouper right there. Oop, there he goes. Another species for us here. Again, goal for today is just to have some fun out here. I've never kayak fish a seven mile, but we get some fish in the box. That'd be great too. Let's give it a little dangle here. All right, it's pretty much fully slack here, so I had to take a little jog. The other side of the bridge, gonna be an awkward stage of fishing right now, though. While we try to figure out what's what. All right, so while that current's not moving too much here, mix up our chumming strategy and just kind of chunk up some of these pilchards. I have literally so many of them, so. Can't put them all on a hook. We've got to attract the fish some way. There we go, that should be plenty. There he is. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, I thought he was way bigger than that. Oh, wow. <laughs> thought the last grouper was a giant. This one is a world record. Oh well, just slack tied things. They get fired up in the colder weather. Pretty fish, not too big. Boom, see ya. There he is, there he is. What do we got here on the chunk? Oh yeah, a little mang. A little bit bigger one, that might keep actually. A little bit bigger mangrove right there. Not gonna keep this guy. Got so many yellowtails in the fridge, so. Send him back down. Oh my God, that was a bite right there. Whoa, <laughs> almost ripped the rod out of my hand. Yeah, a little bit bigger grouper there. Woo. Another very short grouper right there, but this one hit like a freaking tank. Fun fight on that one. Oh, there we go, we got a whole bunch going on the chum slick again. The current just switches so quickly down here. So you don't really have to wait long when, the, when there's a slack tide. We're already getting bit again. There he is, there he is. There's like another snapper right there. Oh, yellowtail, that's a surprise. Woo That'll keep too. Yeah, buddy. Now we're in business. Probably a 13 inch yellowtail right there. <laughs> Decent size ones. My biggest ever this far in shore. Yeah, buddy, that's not bad. All right. I didn't want to keep that small mangrove, but you can't let it keep a yellowtail like this go. Beauty. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. <laughs> awesome. There he is. Ah, uh ha. -huh. I was wondering why we weren't catching any of these guys. About time. Florida Keys bluegill there. A little blue stripe grunt. Actually a pretty good meal when they get a little bigger, but definitely is no yellowtail. Man, it's an unlimited supply of these little juvenile grouper here. I'm pretty sure these are black. They may be gags, but having a blast. Whole bunch of these little dudes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's the best thing of the day so far. What is that, bro? What is this? What is, oh! 
What? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Damn, that was actually a good fish. All right, time to re-rig. Well, that was actually something nice. I'm thinking it was a mutton, just by the way it was fighting. I don't think it was too big. Probably like a 16, 15 inch there. But I'm bummed we lost that. But we'll take that as an opportunity to switch up our presentation here. Instead of doing that knocker rig again, we're gonna go a little bit lighter, a little more finesse. Just a tiny 1 8 ounce yellowtail jig. Piece of pilchard and we're just gonna drift that back there. Maybe that'll get us some more finicky bites from some of these fish here, but now that was a good fish right there. Thinking it was a mud or it could have been a nice mangrove way back in the slick. Oh, we're already getting bit. There he is. Didn't take long. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy, now that's coming home too. All right, good thing we switched up to the jig. Just domed a decent, chunky, chunky mangrove. And he's fat, he's been eating all of our chunks. Yeah, buddy, all right. Throw that bad boy in the box as well. A little bit of grocery shopping out here. On the seven mile bridge, let's go. It's not a bad one by any means. Let's get another. Let's get the pilchard head down there. Catch a slob. Almost yellowtail fishing here, just free lining this, letting it drop to the bottom. Waiting for that line to move. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a good something there. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. All right, good call on the jig. Nice, nice fish here. Real nice something. Oh yeah, it's a, yellow, it's a mutton. Boom. All right. We'll take that too. <laughs> nice mutton there, not a trophy. Probably not a keeper. It's a solid fish right there. Let's measure them just for, all right, how big is this guy? It's gotta be 18 inches to keep. Uh, he's not gonna make it, he's like 16-ish. There we are. See you, mutton, not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe there's a keeper down there somewhere. That was sweet. That was a real nice bite. All right. I think the yellowtail jig's the way to go. Way more finesse. These bigger finicky fish are keying in. I don't have too much chum left and the current's gonna keep picking up. So we gotta use this to our advantage while we can. We don't have an unlimited time with this jig here before it becomes impossible to use. All right, and just for fun, let's throw out a whole pilchard here. We've got so many of these guys, maybe a whole one will get us to Giant fish. Just take mine. Oh yeah, we're on again. What do we got here? Oh, mega mangrove. Oh my god. Oh my god. They keep getting bigger. <laughs> Trophy mang right there, bro. That's a tank. I mean that is a beautiful, beautiful mangrove. Holy moly. Whoa, check out that guy. He's gotta be 17 inches right now. Whoa. That's gotta be a, a 17 inch right there. Absolute giant. Let's get him in the box. Get a quick measure on this guy. Tight grip. What do we got here? Oh yeah. Uh, not as big as I thought, 14 inches. I may have rounded up, but that's a, a hefty mangrove. No matter how you slice it, that's a, that's a butte. All right, in the box. You Smoking them on these pilchard chunks. I mean, that was a, that's a beautiful fish all day, anywhere. I wonder if there's any bigger ones back there or maybe a keeper mutton. If I get a keeper mutton today, that'd be my, my trophy catch, but. That was sweet, dude. Phew. Got two mangs in the box. Keeper yellowtail. Definitely a successful trip so far.
Oh, mackerel. Boom, another species today. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Man, who needs a boat? This is so much fun. Well, pretty zero right there. Normally I keep these guys. They're great eating, great sashimi. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna keep it. I forgot it was great sashimi. Make sure you bleed them out. And I'll be eating this guy in a couple hours with some soy sauce. Yeah, buddy. Filling up that box quick. Oh, mackerel. Got me again, mackerels, Jesus. All right, <laughs> keep getting bit off by these mackerels on top. And honestly, I don't really want to catch too many of these, so we're gonna drop down a heavier jig, stick towards the bottom. Bump it up from 1 8 to 3 8 ounce. Still gonna try to fish this jig head here. I'm just hoping there's some bigger snappers staying back. All right, let's give him a big chunk of bait too. Maybe we'll get ourselves a nice, another nice snapper off the bottom. There he is. Oh, big yellow tail. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. That's a, <laughs> oh, that's a nice yellow tail, dude, for inshore here. Hell yeah, man. And I should have been out in this kayak a while ago. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. That's awesome. All right. Have your jigs the way to go. Get away from those mackerels that did not take long. First cast. I think what's going on right now, the current switched, obviously, and the water is way way warmer definitely 70 degree plus water here now that it's coming out of the atlantic so i think that's what's going on here the warmer water has these fish fired up after sitting through that cold lethargic water all day another nice fish though put them in the box hell yeah buddy hell yeah all right this is a blast didn't think it was going to be this good earlier when i was catching those small groupers and stuff but just got to grind it out wait a little bit longer and we're, we've been out of chum for like 15 minutes now, so I don't know how long these fish are really gonna stick around for. There he is again. Other fish. Ooh, another nice yellowtail. All right, beautiful. All right, like I said, we got a bunch in the fridge. Another keeper here, but not a trophy. We'll let him go. This is awesome fishing though, man. This is awesome. See you, dude. All the times I've bridge fished myself off the actual, the bridges you can walk out on, I really have never caught a keeper yellowtail. And here we are getting it done. Just gotta get somewhere a little more remote via the kayak. And I'm having a blast. Lost track of how many fish I've caught. We've got a couple mangroves in the box, a couple yellowtail, ice zero. They're just relentless on their biting. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, another nice mangrove. Not a giant like the ones we were getting earlier. Probably a would-be keeper though. See ya. Getting a little, little less action here from these bigger fish. I haven't gotten any real nice bites in a minute. Bunch of small stuff down there, I think, but not the big keeper yellowtails and mangroves I was catching. Definitely no keeper muttons. Chumback has just run completely, completely dry. Uh oh. Caught something way too big down there too. Uh oh. That's not a uh Oh Jesus. That's something way too big for me. Oh, just pulled off. I don't know what it was. Oh, what the frick? I think we had a shark something down there thankfully it pulled out i don't know how we lost them could have been a big grouper actually big goliath or something the way it was just sitting there well for my first time ever kayak fishing the seven mile bridge i actually had a great day caught plenty of keeper snappers plenty of bites plenty of fish overall 
and uh, I'm definitely still a beginner with this whole kayak fishing thing here so I didn't want to do anything too crazy with live bait you know we were only out here for two hours brought one chum block it lasted about 45 minutes and then we just kind of picked that fish after that but really a, uh, a successful day in my books and I'm happy I'm happy we can almost end on a good note as we're uh, getting ready to go back up north in just two days so I've got one more fishing day down here in the Keys stay tuned for that guys but That'll be all for me today. Never end this end. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. You.